The debate over open borders has long been a controversial and divisive issue. Advocates argue that open borders promote economic growth, cultural diversity, and human rights. While opponents argue that they pose security risks, strain resources, and threaten national sovereignty. This chapter explores the arguments from both sides of the dispute, seeking to shed light on the complex nature of this topic. Proponents of open borders contend that they facilitate economic growth by fostering trade, innovation, and entrepreneurship. They argue that when people are allowed to move freely across borders, they can contribute to the workforce and stimulate the economy. Immigrants can fill labor gaps, start businesses, and generate tax revenue, resulting in job creation and increased productivity. The accessibility of open borders also encourages foreign investments and boosts tourism, leading to additional economic benefits. Moreover, advocates argue that open borders promote cultural diversity and societal integration. They believe that diversity enriches a society by bringing new perspectives, ideas, and traditions. Cross-cultural interactions foster tolerance, understanding, and appreciation for different cultures, leading to a more inclusive and harmonious society. Open borders allow individuals to reunite with their families, pursue educational opportunities, and form cross-border relationships, ultimately strengthening global connections and promoting a sense of global citizenship. However, Opponents of open borders raise concerns about national security and strained resources. They argue that unrestricted migration poses risks in terms of terrorism, crime, and potential threats to public safety. Open borders could allow for the entry of unauthorized individuals with malicious intentions, making it challenging to regulate and monitor the movement of people. Additionally, opponents argue that an influx of immigrants constrain public resources such as healthcare, education, and social welfare systems, leading overburdened services and increased costs for taxpayers. Furthermore, opponents express concerns about the erosion of national sovereignty and cultural assimilation. They believe that open borders diminish a country's ability to determine its own policies and control its population. They argue that unrestricted immigration can lead to a loss of national identity and the dilution of cultural values and traditions. Opponents emphasize the importance of preserving national borders as a symbol of sovereignty and a means to protect national interests, including cultural heritage, societal cohesion. In conclusion, the debate over open borders is multifaceted and emotionally charged. Proponents argue that open borders spur economic growth and promote cultural diversity, fostering a more interconnected world. On the other hand, opponents raise concerns about national security, strained resources, and the erosion of national identity. Finding a balance between the benefits of open borders and addressing these legitimate concerns poses a challenge for policymakers. It requires thoughtful consideration, rigorous analysis, and collaborative efforts to create comprehensive immigration policies that prioritize both the well-being every time the country campaign prize. If your basis, how Garative expanded policy and portrait for a new force of this series, NP, as we have the DP living with Rome.